Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. Well, in the podcast lately, we have been talking about the uh, abounding messages and how um, we're tapping into the the plethora of messages that you have given over the years since uh, actually the 80s. Um, and we're going into them and we're going to be turning them into booklets. We're going to, we got a huge storehouse now. The storehouse is almost done. We poured the concrete for the second part uh, this week. They've got it enclosed. Um, so right now we're, we're waiting just for the electrical to come in and uh, for the second half. And then we're, we're, we're good. We're going to, um, have that building done. The garage door is going to be there uh, on Tuesday. Uh, they're pouring concrete for the driveway uh, coming up in, in a week and a half. And um, so we've got this huge, big, wide open cornucopia of, uh, of, of storehouse. And what, what are we going to fill it with? And so um, Joan and and LaDonna and I and, and you, Martha, are all going to start working on taking um, CD messages that you've done and turn them into uh, booklets, book both in print and Kindle. We're going to start with Kindle, but then um, we're going to have them ready to go in, in print. Um, and so the first one we're doing is the Overcomers, and, and the very first message in the Overcomers series is the sword. And I'd like to talk to uh, Joan and, and LaDonna about it. And they've gone through that message and they've uh, l- literally like kind of reworked it so that you're taking it out of the uh, verbal and bringing it into the written, which is a, uh, a daunting task. And because you're having to basically take something that's someone else's baby and, as LaDonna says, drop it off at the, the daycare, hoping that they're going to take care of it. So... This is this is a this is a uh, a labor of love, but I really believe that the Shulamite Ministries, the this is going to be part of of the the ministries that's going to be happening is taking these messages and putting them out there, um, because uh, you know one of the ones that that right now Joan Joan is tallying up all the the Kindle books and and how the Kindle books are are selling. One of the ones that is uh, selling the most right now is overcoming self hatred. I'm a, I'm pretty blown away at how many each month are just going out. And that message was an originally a audio message, and then we turned it into a Kindle. It's and it's beautiful. I mean, it really does deal with overcoming self hatred. And um, uh, I I I would love to go reread that and and so anyway that will be one when, when we get the storehouse done that will be one of the first ones that we uh, sent off to the printer to actually get that one in print because I want that one uh, available to just rapid fire that thing out because self hatred is so huge in our culture right now and uh, and then we've got the uh, overcoming anxiety. Um, that one is, uh, finished and the cover, um, I'm finishing the cover up. The painting's done. Um, my art teacher's taking it to get it, uh, digitally printed and, uh, so that we can take it and put the typeset in there and get the cover done. So that's going to be great. And that will be one of the ones that we do first too. So overcoming self-hatred and overcoming anxiety and if we don't live in an anxious culture right now, I don't know when we have, because this feels totally anxious for me. <laughs> so um, I want to talk to Joan and, and LaDonna, and uh, as they're, they're processing this and as they're uh, bringing it through uh, to to the written format, I want, to, I want to hear how it's impacting you. I want to hear any kind of gleanings that you're getting from it and uh, anything that you want to share about the process. Well, when we were talking earlier, I did. It, it, touching somebody else's work is fear-provoking. 
And actually, Jacqueline said it's touching something holy. And the respect that I have for what Martha, the anointing that Martha carries and the work of living out the story of her own warfare and being willing and able to put it down in print is far too, it's too big. And I said initially, I can't do that. And John gave us a prophetic word, yes, you can. And Joan and I said, well, okay. (laughs) And we sat down together and because we've worked together for a while anyway and have known each other forever and grown up together um, basically for 30 plus years, 35 years probably, 36. Oh, we that old? <laughs> we are. <laughs> so it was, um, it was a real sweet time anyway to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but as I, as I said, it was, it was fear provoking and scary to, to do it. The wonderful thing about even getting into it was the fact that these messages Martha did, I believe were in 1998. That's a long time ago. And, um, they are so relevant and so pertinent and so lacking but necessary within the body that even being associated with a way to have them available for the body is an honor even though it makes me scared it's a privilege to be able to to do this it is very daunting and overwhelming because you're touching someone else's revelation really their life with god and that's a that's a fearful thing, but it's been wonderful because Martha's uh, words are as fresh on this CD as they were then. The help to our lives, especially for mine, warfare is always something very uh, foreign to me in understanding the real dynamics of it. And I think one of the most piercing things we've come away with is we don't wield the sword we the the word is the sword but the holy spirit wields that sword not us and being very careful to understand that i can't just pick up a word out of the word and say okay satan here we go and swing my little (laughs) swing my little silly sword it doesn't work that way and martha's very clear to let you know that it, it if the sword, the sword can not only be used by you, but it can, can be used against you. And being aware that, you know, you, we live on both sides of the sword. God may give, it, give us a word through the Spirit for someone else, but then he also gives someone else a word about us <laughs> through the Spirit that the sword then turns against us. And, but, but all for positive. It, it's all for the goal of preparing us to be filled with the Spirit, completely governed and controlled by the Spirit. And the, the Word is just, it's, it's just an amazing revelation we're seeing in this Word. And even of how Martha lives in just being so honest about her own trials of using the sword and listening to warfare and saying, it didn't work and it's not right. And uh, so maybe she can touch on that a little bit. In this moment, I need to listen to the manuscript. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm serious about that. Um, sometimes, when the Holy Spirit does a work in you that is of Him and not me, sometimes I'm disconnected from. Thank you for nodding yes. <laughs> you understand. Uh, and, of course, that one is some years ago. And, I mean, I do need to re- reread it again. Well, you were, you were just uh, in our last writing trip. You were, you were going over that. 
um, that is part of the uh, what you were looking at with the uh, one war, mm-hmm. you know. So this is this is interesting how how this is all coming out because of the fact that you were reading over mm-hmm. through that and you saw how daunting it is for your own self to go over and take old stuff and mm-hmm. and bring I, it I could barely, forward. I could barely work. With no, it. I know. I it was just. And that's when I realized, okay, well, we're not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put this on you anymore. And I just said, okay, God, you got to do something, because I, I can't. I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to put this weight on you uh, to to do this. And then that's when Ladonna and Joan stepped up and said that they were willing. And I I know that they're able because I know that the Spirit of God will do it. Um, this is his message. He gave it originally to you, and we're just literally bringing it forward Mm -hmm. uh, in a different media. That's it. That's all we're doing. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.